So, the next artists that we're going to see are old favourite. They are one of Britain's favourite groups. You really could say that. And when I first started playing in small pubs, um, people like you two were playing in these pubs, so was this band. And now we've all elevated and we're in this room together. It's marvellous. They've got some, an LP that they're going to be telling us about a bit later um, called Guns in the Ghetto, which is a free, a free album event. Um, but now, please welcome, with Always There, UB40. <laughs> UB40. What great players, improving all the time. They sound better than ever. And now? Thank you, Ronnie Sires and represents. Now I've got uh, Robin and Andy Campbell and Brian Travers, uh, all from the UB40, who I will be chatting to. How you doing, George? I'm fine. Thanks very much for having me on the show. Thanks for having us. Now, going back, let's start. Uh, let's go right back to the beginning. Did you all go up together in Birmingham? Yep. 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 But most of us went to school with each other. You know, we were in the same classes in school. That's uh, uh, yeah. And, you, and you, your father was a musician. Not his father. Your you father. mean my father? Yeah, his father. Your, your father. He's a folk singer, but. Uh, there wasn't that... enough bass in folk music for us, you know. <laughs> right. So we got into reggae. And when did you, where did you first get into that? I suppose through Bob Marley, though, you know, was in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Hearing those records. The other influence that we were told was an influence was Michael Jackson. Well, influence on Ali. 
yeah. That influence on he him. thought he was Absolutely. going to grow up and be Michael Jackson. Back in jacket. Well, now we've got, as a special treat for you, because we knew you liked him, a, a footage of Michael Jackson on top of the Pops hey, in 19... Right. Right. When he was Michael Jackson. Exactly. Yeah, oh, all right, <laughs> Like that as well. Did you ever yeah. see it like that? Yeah, yes, I did actually. Yeah. <laughs> and the same hairstyle. Yeah, I'm very impressed. That really. Did you go and see it? Did you say that? Yeah, man. Well, that was the first. The Robbie, and my older brother, he took me to see him when I was 13. Years Where old. was that? In, in, at the Odeon in Birmingham. 1974, like, man. You must remember that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What a treat. Where are you all living now at the moment? Birmingham still. Yeah, really. Most of the time. Ali lives half the time in Jamaica. So That's half, half the band do, yeah. You're living yeah. in Jamaica. And is that hard? Half of you in Jamaica? And... No, we go recording studio work in there, you know, so... <laughs> so, it's, it's, you know, when we're there, we're working, so it's... Kind of cool. And that's where you've cut your most recent record, which is free records. Now, yeah, please explain Guns, this. Guns in the Ghetto is the one album, right? That's ten original tracks by UB40, yeah? Yeah. Then we've got a DJ album, which is using all the contemporary DJs in Jamaica, Cabra, uh, you know, Peter Metro, Bandit, General Degree, Big Bang. Massive, yeah. <laughs> and that's and then, coming out in the new year. There's a third album, so. right, called The Father's Album. And that's kind of, that's um, Ken Booth, John Oates. It's a kind of labour of love in reverse, you know, yeah. where we've asked the people whose songs we sang on the labour of love albums so yeah. if they'll sing one of ours. Yeah. Well, it's very nice, and all I can say is thank you very much for coming on. You'll be 40, we'll look forward to you later on it's in the show. That's yours, man. Love you. Gentlemen, please welcome from Guns in the Ghetto, the lovely LP, UB40. <laughs>
Nights in the ghetto They say your name set you free Be now.